We rolling? Huh? We rolling, are we? We're rolling, baby. Okay. <laughs> right, everyone. So you can, mate, I've got some weapons Right, where's here. mine? You've both got ones and I don't have one and I'm really left out. Yeah, because mate. you're not a wizard. Yeah, but you're not a fucking wizard. I'm a Death Eater. That's not a wizard, It was it? a wizard. It's, a, it's an evil wizard. Yeah, but do they still have ones? He's a bit confused. He was a Jedi once. Yeah, you were a then boxer, then you're a Jedi, and now you're... <laughs> Okay, let me... Oh, you know what? I'm already pissed off here. <laughs> Bad. You asked you, me to come on this, and, and this is what two, you get. You, two, yeah. <laughs> you put us on the same side as You well. two are on the same side. I feel like I'm going to get ganged upon, and I don't like it. Right, so let me like, give a little backstory of what I've got on. So this is supposed to be a Sith um, Lord outfit, right? And the lightsaber never came. And then Elliot turns up... Um, I thought you should have been in Hufflepuff because that's the shittest one, right? <clears throat> so it matches Elliot. Cheers. So yeah, so <laughs> cheers, pal. So, <laughs> but yeah, he turned up in Gryffindor, and I was like, oh well, I've got the black robe, I've got my wand that I got from, I don't know where I got this from. London, wasn't it? Yeah. No, we got sent that. Yeah, I got sent this. This is Albus that's Dumbledore's wand. That's probably the best so gifting you've ever got. This could be Albus Dumbledore's wand because Snape kills him, and Snape was a death eater. So technically, I'm kind of right in what I'm saying. How did you get your battle scar? How did I get my battle scar? Mm. You just drew it on upstairs. <laughs> I thought I was going to get some elaborate story about... Do you want an elaborate story? Yeah, I want to okay. know what happened. Um, so basically, I was just like walking down the street and this geezer came up to me and then I got my wand out. Oh, that is... Wow! Okay. okay. <laughs> what kind of podcast am I on? And he was like, do you want to go? <laughs> yeah, and I was like, yeah. yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was confused at first. I was like, yeah, okay, it's fine. And then he was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, enough about me, right? I can already see where this podcast is going to go. Right, Elliot, explain I'm why you chose Gryffindor. I'll tell you what, I'm hot in this. Are you hot? I'm hot. It's the polyester. It is. So basically, you reckon, you're, you reckon I was supposed to be in Hufflepuff. I actually bought a Slytherin one, and they sent me a, a Gryffindor <laughs> one. You're not Slytherin. You're not Slytherin, you are Gryffindor. I think you're like a nice, friendly person. Like Smart Slytherin, man. you've got, I'm Slytherin. No. <laughs> You're de- Do you know what? You're I'm slivering <laughs> Pennywise. You're <laughs> defo. You know what? Yeah, it was my idea, right, to like dress up, yeah. <laughs> and I've got the worst is. fucking one. <laughs> <laughs> it's his podcast and he's the one who's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> it was my idea. <laughs> oh, I actually feel really bad for you. I ordered a Cousin It costume. What do you mean do you, you feel know what bad that for me? No, I don't even know what that is. To be cousin fair. It. Was that in... Um, yeah, what was Cousin It on? I don't know. Is it Adam's family? I think so. It's Adam's, it's yeah, Adam's but family. it's literally just like one big hairy costume. Yeah, but I tried it on and it's like, it was like up to four his nipples. foot people. <laughs> so it just looks like I had a wig you, on back to front. You would have just had a wig and you'd, you'd dodge yeah, around. And I feel very powerful with this wand in my hand right now. And not That's the dick wand. Not the, when I say wand, I'm referring to this wand in my hand, okay, not a dick we... wand. I hope everyone can see his belt because that's a kinky belt. It looks like you're just wearing a kinky dressing gown, bro. This, uh, yeah, but you could have got that from Primark. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with Primark? Nothing. I love Primark. Yeah, mm, same. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Think of the brand. Think of the brand. Think of the brand. <laughs> <laughs> Paid post, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, begging. Right, okay. So, obviously, this podcast is, if you haven't guessed it, it's the Halloween special. Happy Halloween. And we got my beautiful yet scary wife. Pennywise is very fitting for you. Why? I don't know. I just feel like. I don't know. Well, I mean, you suit it. You're just very Thanks. scary. And Elliot's scared of you anyway. On the podcast last week, we actually spoke about this. I Elliot's saw this. petrified of you. I don't know why people are scared of me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the silence right there, we didn't want to answer. Why at all. are you scared? Why? Just because I'm like. Well, I'll tell you what. Got quite I've a sharp never, tongue. I, I, I'll be honest. I've never been scared of, of deadlines um, in my life. Until I met her. <laughs> yeah, but just don't I do fuck like the deadline. a deadline. <laughs> I like being on time. I like things going to plan. I like being organised. And if something just like slightly goes off plan, it sends me under. So that's why. Yeah. Yeah, true. It's good though. It's a good thing to have. I've made you more organised. Yeah, you actually have. We were literally just saying this. She's we? been with me eight years. Yeah, I am not organised at all. You're better than you were. Do you know what? This is really random, but I don't know if you know this, but... Um, you hadn't eaten a prawn before you met me. Yeah. 
I just, I d- yeah, I wasn't really like trying anything really. I just have chicken and chips. All well, the time. I mean, I Your mum's gonna you. kill you for saying that. Yeah, my mum used to cook me chicken. No, and chips she all cooked the time. you more food than that. The worst. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm joking, mum. I love you very much. Oh no, okay. Lou. She's gonna hate you. Why do you know my, mom, my, my mom's name? Maybe we follow each other on Facebook. She likes all my stuff. Face- Facebook. Facebook, Instagram, not Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> Is that a brain fart again? 2010. Huh? I love the yeah. fact that we've got these ones. <laughs> Yours lights up, but mine's legit. Mine's movie prop worthy. Right, okay. So on the podcast today, um, we're going to be telling like ghost stories. People actually sent some in. I've got them written down I on my phone. Okay, cool. Whether they're legit and they're just like, or not, that's, we'll, we'll decide that. But first of all, I do want to talk about the show that we've been watching. Did you watch it? The Mate, Fall I of the Ocean Bush show. I didn't have time. So we, we built this podcast together. I'll tell you to do one thing and you just don't do it. Oh, you didn't watch it? No, I didn't, I didn't no. have time. So basically, I'm going to spoil it for you now. No, no. We can't spoil it. Actually, we can't spoil it anyway because we're on the fourth episode and we still have no idea what's going on. <sighs> basically, the way it is, yeah is, you know what it reminds me of? You know, you, series three. I explained this to you, didn't I? You did. So in you, series three, do you know when, like, they go to, he goes to England and they've got all the, the boarding school rich kids and they're all very weird and, like, unique in their own way? Mm. This family and the way it's set up is, like, a horror version of that, I think. Yeah. So the family's all got these weird kinks and, like, they've all got these fetishes and all this mad stuff, like, and obviously they do all, I am going to, like, give it away, but the death scenes are insane. Yeah, like, you kind of know that they die from the beginning because that's, like, one of the first things they say is, yeah. like, that you see, but, oh, my God. I, I it was the epi- end actually, of episode two. This is going to have spoilers. No, we're not going to say what the death is because, obviously, I don't want to spoil it for everyone back at home. Why? Because that one was so bad. Like, the end of episode two, yeah, right, them having, like, a rave thing. Like a sex rave. Is it a sex orgy? Yeah, it's sex like a orgy rave thing? Orgy. I'm not going to say what happens, but they all die at the end, all of them. <laughs> Ruins the whole thing. No, no, not the. <laughs> I'm not, not going to say main... anything, but they're all dead. So no, no, not the main characters, but like no, the no. orgy. Oh, the okay. orgy's nothing the to do with the story. And the way you see it, it's, like, it's disgusting. So yeah, it's like, like a Saw film. Like, I love Saw. I've always been into horror films. Like, I love yeah. Saw, Hostel, all of that. Like always used to watch them and can just watch them and go. To yeah, do you know why Liv likes horror films? Because she thinks they're funny. Because she's I'm literally not, a serial killer. I'm not I a feel serial like you killer. was a serial killer in a past life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you remember? What? Do you remember that? I movie? was probably a baker or something. Yeah, a baker. Yeah, because no, I love you bread. Can't cook. Yeah, but I love bread, man. <laughs> <laughs> I fill up on bread. I fill- I fill up on bread all the no, time. To be fair, I came down the other night and he was making himself soup. I'm not joking. He had half a loaf and like just like half a tin. Yeah, normally, I just take the like the, the whole, whole uh, lot of Holvis and just take it upstairs. Oh, the whole loaf. Yeah, just, or like you know, like a French uh, stick or French. Uh, mate, I, I'm is it baguette down for that. or baguette? Oh, no, roast. Bag- what? Baguette. It's not baguette. Yeah, but who says baguette? Baguette. Baguette. Yeah, uh, is that American or French or something? Baguette. When that- <laughs> This <laughs> is an accent you turned. Baguette. Baguette. No, baguette. Baguette, innit? Baguette. Yeah, it is baguette, but I've heard people say baguette. The American. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you remember, do you remember um, the other night we watched that movie? Oh my God, we need uh, to talk about yeah. this. What, what, what was it called? Uh, talk to me. So I'll be honest, I didn't sleep. <laughs> no, I had, didn't sleep. I had a shit night's sleep. Like when we went, oh, when we all went to bed, sleep. when we all went to bed, yeah, I had a, I had a proper moody sleep yeah. because of that movie. You probably should it watch bad, it before you go. Are you not Mate, good with horrors? I t- how many times I tell every, all, both of you, horrors ain't a bit of me. And you, were, we sat down, we had a pizza, we got Domino's. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Yeah, you will like this one, Al. Are you mad? <laughs> it was so. Um, it was. Is it similar to like in terms of? It was so realistic. Yeah, but that was more realistic, I think. Yeah, so you know what it is, yeah? Like, this is where I'm going to get, like, movie nerdy on you. You know what I'm like. Mm. Like, what I know from, like, the first five minutes of a film whether it's I'm going to like it or it's going to be good. Yeah. Just from the way it's shot. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I look at, like, the way the music comes in and what yeah. it sounds like, and that's when it grips me. Like, this film, I think it's an Australian indie film. And yeah, it won it, was, it, it won it, like, film. the Venice Awards and that. Like, what I loved about it, it's proper, like... There's not. It's not really jump scary. It's just very. It's, it's just very disgusting it's and violent. quite freaky. And I think that's what it's all about. Because you know what annoys me here with a lot of people. They'll be like, "Oh, I went to the film. You know that The Conjuring. Have you ever watched The Conjuring? I have. So do you know that's like there's this, um, three like films of them. Yeah, I've told people about that film because I love it. And I'm like, yeah, that film's not even scary. It's shit. I'm like, all because it's a horror. Right, you know it's not real, so it's not scary, mm. right? Or because it's not scary, don't mean the film's shit. 
also it's fucking scary yeah it is yeah <laughs> I, the conjuring films it i like when they're scary. spooky <clears throat> and obviously the second one is based around that thing that happened in uh, enfield yeah yeah yes. john's yeah, john, mad though i went to um, a pa before in enfield the night and my tour manager took me to the he- like we was in the area and had like an hour to waste and he said oh, i've took someone else there before and you know on the actual house they've got a cross above the door and oh mate nah. yeah it's freaky like. it's like that, that annabelle that Annabelle doll, yeah, you can yeah. actually go there in oh, America. Is it a real it's thing? a real thing. Yeah, it's well, it's, have you seen the doll though? It's like, do you remember Tots TV? Like the puppets. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, looks like, like that. it looked like that, yeah. yeah. See, yeah, I know my shit, tacky. man. See, I know my shit. Matt, you do, yeah. Yeah, yeah I do. Know know I, do you know what? I, I do like the Conjuring series because it's got a good storyline. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's the ones that just scare you for no reason. What's, what's one that's uh, done that? Not none. I can't remember which one it is. Oh, I like that though. Yeah, no, but did we watch the second? The did we watch the no? second one? What? Should we watch the second one? The none two. Maybe. Yeah. Say none. 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 You let sound like you say none, bruv. You say none, like like I ain't got. Well, I say none. None. Not, none. None. Oh, I said it exactly the same way you said it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just feel like we've like horror films and stuff. People judge them off how scary they are. The only time a horror film scares you, if something's like pretty gruesome or freaky, or if it's a jump scare, because like you know Paranormal Activity when it makes you when it made you jump back in the day. That was scary. Like you know The Exorcist. Obviously, it's <laughs> shit special effects now, but back in the day, no one People had ever seen were anything like that. Passing out and leaving in the cin- like when Exorcist come out. Yeah. People literally yeah. were passing out. Like my mum said, she watched it and it was the scariest thing that had ever come out. Yeah, yeah, because, because no, no one, one had, had done seen it. Yet. it. Yeah. yeah, and you know, I know a few things about that um, in the background, behind the scene things. So I watched like a documentary on it. A few people had died on set of that. On Exorcist. Yeah, <gasps> a freak, she hit her head or freaky accident. Some uh, geezer fell off a ladder that was like fixing lights and they died. Fuck off. Yeah, Spooky. a few a few weird things happened in that one. Mate, that is mad. Well, that's a great segue because. We all have some stories, yeah. don't we? That we actually well, you two to... have stories. I, I have, have nothing. Stories. Do you not nothing. have not one? Oh, I have one oh, about. Have actually, one I've about got one about Abel. Abel, yeah, but I don't know if it's real or not. Do you want to go first? You go. You go first with one of your um, one of your your scary stories or ghost stories. Okay, so my best friend Grace, she like their family is really into all of that, and they really believe like mediums, psychics. And their house was really old. Um, and I think there was, it was a guy and his wife that lived there. Um, and they did a Ouija board in their house. No chance. They always used to do Ouija boards. And Grace like took part in it. And she even said, like, she didn't move the thing. She uh, it actually moved for her. What, so they all have their hands on the thing yeah. at the same time? Yeah, and the guy... A fancied Grace that used to live in the house. He like came on to her. Like, he was like saying stuff. Charlie's to her. gonna be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it would all like it would always mention certain things that she had. This I think there was this statue that was placed on the fireplace, and they moved it. And he what, said who he, moved it? That no Grace and that moved okay, it. Okay. Okay. And he said he didn't like where they moved it to, and then it moved back. When did what? So he told them this through the Ouija board. Yeah. That's See, and we- so I went and I like wouldn't believe some stories like this like I find it hard to believe but Grace is my best friend so I don't think she'd lie to me yeah. and also she's been there and when I went to her house we came back after a night out we were going up the stairs I wasn't even that drunk we were going up the stairs and someone <laughs> wasn't even that drunk <laughs> not a liable story <laughs> yeah, not that no, drunk. <laughs> I wasn't. and someone tapped me on the back of the head I went Grace and she was like what and I was like you just tapped me on the back of the head she was like no I didn't Okay, that's and weird. And someone literally hit me on the back of my Is head. Is this at her... At her house that she's done the Ouija board. Not going back. Yeah. Well, she let, she's not in that she, house, she's is she not, anymore? She's not there, but I think her mum took the Ouija board when you're not meant to. You're not, yeah, you're supposed to keep... Well, that's the thing, though. Is it a load of shit? Is it not, like... No, because oh. I... Do you know what I mean? There's no proof story. for it. There's no and proof. And also, there's, like, tons that she's told me about, like... She was sitting in a lounge and she kept seeing someone go past her window and she thought it was her dad. So she rang her dad, like, you coming in or not? Yeah. And he was like, I'm not there. And then when I think they did the, um, they like looked into the history of the house and the guy that used to live there used to always go past that window because he raised cattle there or something. It was oh like a God. mad story. That is freaky stuff though. I just think like with stories like that, obviously that's, that's very specific. Do you know what I mean? So For specific. someone to make, to make up. That's the thing. And when you start messing around with like spirits and shit, but the only thing is there's no proof or facts for it like do you know what I mean like over no all the proof. years yeah with all the technology we've got now you're telling me that no one's captured anything like legit yeah but do you, do you not know think I mean? like we had no proof that cameras were ever gonna work we had no proof that 
you know, TVs were ever going to come into fruition, but mm. they did. So maybe at one, at some point we might create something that can see a spirit. Like mm. it might not even be available yet. Fruition, yeah. that's a big word. Yeah, no. <clears throat> like that. She already, she already pissed one. me off because she yeah, just, I don't like, even she just shut me down completely. I, I had don't... an argument there. She just shut me down in one <laughs> sentence. Yeah, she said fruition. I don't even know what that means. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> What does fruition mean? Is it, it means like come to yeah, term, I did. like come to life. Yeah, you come, come to, to fruition. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I'll just repeat. Like. Word of the day, <laughs> fruition. Word of the day. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. You need to keep doing it. My key this for the rest that of the That is pod. good. I love it. Well, that's a really scary one. Thank you yeah, for that. it's quite scary. I want to hear this Abel one. I don't believe this one. Uh, no, I... <sighs> It's happened, it happened, it's, in fact, it doesn't really happen now, it happened before, well, I don't know, he must have been about six, seven months <clears> old, I reckon. When did he start smiling? Like, oh, sp- no, he was about two months old. Yeah, it was, it was like a long time, quick, like must pretty much after been. that. But basically, we was upstairs, and like, you know that we've got a rocking chair in the corner of the bedroom. Yeah. And um, I was putting Abel to sleep, yeah, and I had him in my arms, and... I was like, he was like facing like behind me, looking behind my head. And then I'm just like there rocking him pretty much like this now. And then like, he just starts smiling behind me and I like proper like looking and staring. And then like, like, he, like when he, look, when he started smiling though, I looked, I was staring at his eyes. It looked like he noticed someone. Then I turned around like, and he stopped, right? He stopped smiling. Then when I turned back like that, he started smiling again up the oh top. My God. And I to was like, fair, that's a Grace bit weird. said she felt energy here. <laughs> it's an old... <laughs> She did. She nope. said, "There's something about your house." And who was Why it? Why has she never told me this? Who was it that stayed in our the orange guest bedroom and said they heard someone outside their door? It was it Joey. Oh who yeah. Who was it? Oh my god, I got one more story actually, and it's reminded me one thing has happened to us. Do you remember when we was in uh, Wood Street when I first moved to Essex, and I put the uh, the mirror in the middle of the bed? What? Then it smashed on the floor. No. You? How do you not remember this? This was like the biggest thing ever. You was upstairs, yeah, and you was using your straighteners or something, right? And I put like, you had like this mirror and I put it in the middle of the bed. And you know what I'm like? I always say, oh, I'll put that on the side just in case it falls off. I'll put it in the middle of the bed so it wouldn't fall off. We went downstairs, we come back upstairs and it was smashed on the floor. Do you floor. know what that was as well, Wood Street? Oh, oh that was, that was built was on a hospital. hospital. Yeah. Oh, Weird, mate. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know what? Oh, about 10 minutes ago, I was like, I don't believe none of this shit, and now I'm petrified. Yeah, if you yeah. start talking about it, it's yeah, like, oh it's, my it's, God. It's like, I'm, I'm not going to sleep again tonight. I just no, know it. And you're, and you're staying oh, and here again. Oh, it's the orange room where that person walked past. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 I can't remember who said it, but they said like it was like 2 a.m. and they heard someone footsteps no. outside the door. That is And there's so an weird. attic in your room. This is what I... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? When we would chip, when we finished watching that film, I, I remember getting into bed and looking up and just looking at that hatch door yeah. and being like, "Yeah, please." Do you know what's weird though? Do you know how like when you do watch a scary film? Do you know how like you're switching all the lights off downstairs? Yeah. Do you still just want to? You know, when you sprint up the stairs, you always kind of just in the back of your mind think someone's going to chase we you. We fight. Grab you. Who goes yeah. last? If Liv goes upstairs before me after we've watched the film, yeah, I'm like, where are you going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like no, you stay here, right? We make a cup of tea together. Yeah. Even if she don't want one, and I just want one. No, you make it with me because I am not going anywhere. <laughs> you literally did that to me when we finished with that movie. You were like, bro, where are you going? I was like, <laughs> I was at my laptop, and I was like, I'm going to bed, bro. And he's like. No, wait for me to f- join the water. Like, wait for me for my water. Um, yeah, because water. anything can happen, eh? Do you know what oh I always think, God. though? Sorry, we'll get to your story next. Do you know um, the outside where the sliding doors are in our kitchen? Mm. Do you know when it's pitch black there and obviously the lights are on in the kitchen, you can't see anything outside? Oh, don't. I always think when you put the lights on outside and you can see that someone's, someone's going to be, be like, standing oh, there. No, it's it's mad. so weird. It is mad. It's so weird. Yeah, story time from you, Elliot. Right, so. <laughs> This one's mad. And you're probably not going to, no one's going to believe me, but it's a real thing, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Just because I'm dressed like this, take me seriously. <laughs> I mean, all three of us. <laughs> Mate, so. It's you two holding your ones. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, at least we're not holding each other's ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't put it past you both. Yeah, yeah. Fair. <laughs> so, anyway, my, this story, right? So, I was in a band, and I don't know whose idea it have was. You, have you never told in this? What? You're tell, in a tell band. <laughs> Doing what? Yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm a drummer. I play drums. <laughs> I, I've like, I like toured the whole of Europe and that. What? <laughs> I can't believe I've what? never told you. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a. <laughs> <laughs> Put 
But you, how old were you? Uh, well, I started playing drums when I was fourteen <laughs> till like twenty, well, twenty eighteen. I quit the band. So 20, why? Yeah. Why did you quit? Because uh, it's well expensive and you don't earn any money from it. Oh. Yeah, and it's so basically. It was like a metal band, like a rock band, heavy, heavy rock band. And I don't know whose idea it was, but they were like, <clears throat> let's do a photo shoot in an abandoned morgue. Oh, oh my God, no. With, and it had all of the, the metal beds where they <gasps> obviously like dissect and, and do all this and that. Mental. I don't know whose idea it was. <laughs> it looks like I want it, to go. <laughs> it's a bit of a mad thing, right? So there's a place near me, um, in Ch- it's called Chertsey, a little town, and it, it's renowned. People used to know it was an abandoned place and people would go there you know when you're a kid and yeah, you're just yeah, like yeah. oh it's, let's go check it out anyway so we went in there and because obviously it's for a photo shoot there was like a few candles in there that we put in there and stuff and anyway we do this for, and I hated every single like <laughs> and the moment I walked in I was like I cannot wait to leave this gaff like <laughs> right it was all the fridges in there and like, it was mental still all left behind like yeah 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 not turn, not turn on and yeah, that. But it was just, just like, like empty like yeah and I yeah. just it was mad. Not even mouldy though, bro. Like, it was weird. But anyway, we do this photo shoot and I'm really like, right, guys, can we just like get out of here, right? Yeah. And we finish it. And as soon as I leave the building, massive relief, right? I feel this like massive like weight off my chest, right? I get in the car and I'm driving, we're driving back and I'm like, oh, thank God that's over. Honestly, I get home and I get that same feeling from when I was in the morgue, like, someone was with me, like someone was watching me, right? Like watching my every move. Like I'm playing on PlayStation, I'm playing FIFA, Ultimate Team. And- <laughs> So um, specific. Yeah, wow. FIFA 15, 16, OG times. Anyway, I'm playing it and I'm like, there's a, there's someone behind me, right? I just, I just knew there was someone behind me. Go to bed, I didn't sleep for like, honestly, like 10 days, because I was sleeping and in the corner of the room and I could pinpoint it, I, I, I just felt, like Grace said, energy, yeah? And I was like, this is mental. I had two weeks of awful sleep, right? Um, and it was just everything. So like, I'd be downstairs, washing up, and then I'd just be like, there's someone in, like behind me, someone in front of me, weirdest thing. My dad, my granddad is, is a, is a uh, what they call, they call it? A spiritualist? So basically, so basically, when someone has an issue with like spirits and stuff, yeah. There's people that are, get hired out oh, to like, like cleanse, cleanse places <clears throat> and that. And that's what my granddad, not full time, but my granddad has done that and he does that's that. That's so cool. Anyway, oh, and honestly, you're going to think this is so bizarre and people probably won't believe me. But I thought, I was like, said to my dad, I was like, this is weird. I've been, I don't, I want to let you know this has been happening. And then he was like, oh, I've been feeling a weird energy too. I can't lie, but I haven't said anything. I'm like, this is so weird. Like, it's like an anxious feeling. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I call my, he, my dad's like, call granddad up. Call my granddad up and... I go, oh, granddad, I want to, um, I want to tell you something. So basically, I went to, um, I went to this morgue for a, for a photo shoot. Shouldn't have done it. Hated it. Um, and then he was like, <clears throat> he was like, yeah, I know. There's a guy. There's, there's a, there's a guy. I, no, I didn't. No, oh, no, sorry. No, wait, wait. Let's rewind that. I didn't tell him I went to a morgue. I just said I did. I've, I've been feeling really weird recently. I think there's some something attached to me. And he was like, yeah, I know. He was like, it's a guy, it's a guy in a white robe, right? Uh! It's a guy in a white robe. And the reason why you're feeling anxious is because he's a lost ghost. He's a lost soul Aww. that was in the morgue, right? And he, he, his soul was trapped in this morgue and he's attached to you. Oh, that's right? so sad. Oh, yeah, so that's oh, why he boo-hoo. felt... boo-hoo. That's Fuck what... me, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. He like, was he's like, a ghost. Like, oh, I'm 25 he's a lost soul. Years anyway, he was, yeah, he was a spirit that was lost. He, he latched onto someone that's like... Uh, susceptible. What's the word? Susceptible. Susceptible to to this like to, to energy or whatever. Anyway, and then um, my granddad's granddad just said something. It was a while ago. He said something like, "Oh, don't worry. Like it's fine. Um, leave it with me." Anyway, two days later, I felt absolutely fine, and it was and that was it, and that was done. That is insane. Well, so he just left. So I think. See again, people are gonna think, "Wow, Elliot's granddad's an absolute loony." But my granddad said he'd like. Done, done something. Done something. Like he came oh, over and he done him. something. And yeah, then two but days they, later, but that could have just been like a subconscious thing. Yeah, it Again, could be no. But it's very weird the fact that like on, he said about the white robe and that, and that's honestly, what they're probably wearing a morgue. And 
and I, and I said to him, I was like, well, that makes sense because I was in a morgue. Like we went, we went to a, an abandoned morgue. That is weird. That see, oh that, do God. you know what? Yeah, I f- you know what? That was a really good story. You know, I was on the edge of my seat, and that was very gripping. So very well done to you. Yeah, sir. yeah I like that. I love <laughs> that was it. Fucking good, bro. It get, I get so excited when I hear stuff about like that. <laughs> yeah, that I just is, love it. Stuff Honestly. like that with like when there's stuff that you can't explain. Like obviously, when you've seen a medium, or is it a medium? Yeah, a medium, medium or a psychic or something like that. Yeah, I, I feel like obviously you got to wean through the bullshitters, yeah. But I do think there is people out there that can, like, it's. I think some people do target people that are very. Is it perceptible? Gullible. Yeah, is it perceptible? I no, I think, like what I know what you mean, like saying. Um, if someone wants to get in contact with someone that maybe they've lost. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna believe it because they want to believe. Oh yeah, it. of course. But also, what I'm trying to say is, yeah, like, do you know when I was in, when I used to work at Fitness First back in the day, there's this geezer, right? And he used to do this like he was like he used to do card tricks and stuff like he could do some mad shit. And he used to say that like, he used to like just this card trick with his mind, and he'd say what card he was thinking of. But what he used to do when That's he'd speak to you, he it? no, he would basically do things to make your subconscious pick something. So he would blink, say, seven times, really weird, mm-hmm. without you even noticing. Then your subconscious, say if he blinked seven times, you'd pick number seven. And then he'd keep, like, talking to you, tapping his heart, like, and yeah. you'd say seven of hearts, and that's how he'd guess it. Because it's, like, power of persuasion, kind yeah. of thing. That's what Darren Brown does, kind yeah. of thing. And I kind of feel like some of the psychic mediums, they're, like, con artists and do a lot of that. But then I do think there is people out there that do it for, like, legit. Yeah. yeah. I went to a cabin once, and... I've just been chilling, having dinner, and a vase has just literally just launched off. I've never seen anything like that. Really? He's just and come I, out with two mad stories yet. Yeah. Like, know. oh, I don't think anyone's. But do you not think because your dad's a spiritualist that you are some you are connected to that, so you are susceptible to that? Yeah. So I, maybe, maybe. But then my brother, nothing. No. Cold to it. Brother's like, nah. <laughs> nah, nothing, mate. But it's like, nah. Nah, what's that? I don't yeah. understand how, like, I just think, how can it not? How can there not be something? Like, mm. how can there not? There's too many weird things that happen in the world, and like, where do we all go? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, it's like it's like Halloween. You can't just die. Mm. And then you can't, and then you just nothing. You can't. I just don't believe that. I mean, facts. What do you would think say happens? It? Facts when, would say that that's what happens. That's so boring. No, though. but how? Is like the brain and life so complex and so complicated and then you just die and that's the end of you. I just don't believe it. Mm. Do you know what I always kind of think? Yeah, I, I've had this like mad... Since I've been growing up, I've kind of felt it like a few times. Do you know when you think, oh, where do you go when you die? Or do you think you've had a previous life and then you've just sort of, like, sort of come back and then you've just relived your life again, well, but you're you going to forget this life and then come back as someone else that. and do that. Do you know, you know I mean? like they say, look into the light when you're dying, like go to the light. Yeah, but what light? That's like when you're being born out of a vagina and it's the hospital lights. <laughs> you said vagina. Vagina. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> vagina. <laughs> Wand. <laughs> you too. <Pee-pee. laughs> I will leave. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, but no, but that yeah. makes sense. No. Imagine that. Imagine, oh, fuck, I'm dead. Fuck, I'm alive again. <laughs> but you don't remember being born. Yeah, so but you come out, you die saying all these words, yeah, then you come out going, meh. Yeah. That's a quick turnaround, I'm telling you that. Have you ever heard about, like, kids that, like, know Spanish and people that, like, can speak? I have seen stuff like this. That is very weird. That's what I mean. Yeah, it's like, but you know what? Yeah, there's there's some people, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm making this up, but I've heard it somewhere. Someone got, like, had a car crash or something, and then when the World Cup, they spoke, spoke like... Spoke a different a, language. Yeah, I they think spoke I saw a different that. language or something. Well, well, you know. just wakes up. Is you right? Hola, como estas? <laughs> Me llamo Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually? alive but he's Spanish <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny <laughs> do you believe in like previous lives then like do you think you were someone yeah like you, just you know said you were a baker yeah well I feel like in a previous life I was a baker or something not because you like sugary like, gifts no, I, just I like, like bread. bread I like bread, I, like bread. I feel like I'm a baker in a previous life I feel life. like I was a lawyer in a previous life yeah I get well, that because you beat me in every argument yeah. If that is true, I do. And your deadlines are on it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be honest, I could believe that. What do you think you was? Someone that was never on time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what you was. I don't know. To be fair, what would I? What would I be in a in a in a? What's it called? Maybe a failed a previous clockmaker. life. Previous life, huh? A failed clockmaker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've just got that. 
<laughs> I don't know, really. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, really, what I could have been. Pro- probably not much. <laughs> Based on how I am. Divvy. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, full-time Mate, you divid. Are the biggest wally I know you are. It is. <laughs> so we've got some, uh, we've got some people who've sent in some stuff, right? So I actually have a story from, I think her name's Rhiannon. I think that's how you say it, Rianne and Kirsty Campbell. So I have the craziest Halloween story. I used to work for the ambulance service and a group of us decided for a work get together, we would go to room 13 in Essex. Have you heard of it? What's that? No. The whole thing was horrendously scary and you have to sign a waiver before you go in because they make you lay in spiders and all sorts. Oh, mate. Why would you choose to do that? Yeah, it's a bit mental. Um, The whole night I was winding my colleagues up saying, what would you do if you woke up and someone was in your house? Long story short, I got home around 1am from the horror maze and at 2am my house got burgled and people were actually in my house when she was in there. I was so scared, understandably lol, and when I told my friends the next morning, none of them would believe me because I was winding them up the night before. Crazy it's not Was it a real burglary? Yeah. Mate. So she she got a house burgled the same night she was saying it to everyone else. That's a big... That's a mad coincidence. Like, Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's a massive fear of mine, you know, getting burgled. Yeah, that's horrible. It's yeah, a weird I've had really thing. horrible dreams about it. Oh my god, one of my dreams that I had, there was just loads of like people running from our back garden and slamming their hands on my door. Oh, but I couldn't get the door shut properly, so they were like grabbing in and coming into this house. Like it was this house. Well, in this my was a dream. dream. Yeah, I didn't. Oh. Well, did I ever tell you that that happened? Oh. Have you noticed that in dreams, like, it's the most frustrating things you just can't do? You can't run. You <laughs> you're like, you're run. like, why am I yeah, slugging? Yeah. And do you know when you're <laughs> running, yeah, I always start floating, then I start pulling myself off yeah. different fences and shit. I just can't run in my dream. I can't run anyway, but I can't run in my dream. Oh, this is actually a really nice segue into what I wanted to ask you guys. Have you two ever suffered with, like, sleep paralysis? Nah. No, I, I don't think you, you seen me do it, do you remember? <clears throat> I want to know what it feels like. Wait, wait, what is it again? It. What yeah. is it again? Explain. So basically, it's it stems from, it's not even just lack of sleep. It's like having sleep, but broken sleep. Okay. So say, if you go out and then, I don't know, you go out and not out, you get back in your car or your sleep or whatever, and then you have a drink and you go have another sleep. You, you, you constantly like, you're not actually getting your REM sleep in. So because you're not sleeping, your mind is just like overworking. It's like an active state, isn't yeah, it? Because you can it, put yourself into one, basically. Yeah, it's very weird. But I always get the same thing that I'm always lying on my back, yeah, and there's a spider on my chest oh. and I can't get up. And do you remember when we was in, I think it was Wood Street oh my or God. Robert Finch, what you said? and I couldn't get up. What, when I said poo-poo babies? Yeah. So he used to have really bad sleep paralysis because, like, of all the PAs he did, like, hours, like... Yeah, so I was... That's what it was from. That's what it was from, yeah. yeah. I was doing PAs up and down the country, like, silly o'clock in the morning every night of the week. So he got back one night and, like, I'd never heard anyone sleep talk. And, like, (laughs) he woke me up and he looked at me and went, poo-poo babies. I went, what? (laughs) He went, poo-poo babies. I was like, Alex, what? He went... Poopy babies. <laughs> he, wa- he was awake. That's something he'd say. I was like, "What <laughs> earth are you I was, just, about? I was just looking for the future. And then, able. and then I, and then literally, I went to video you, and you got so angry and like hit my phone up. Yeah, my you hands. shouldn't wake people up that yeah. are in like. Do you remember the one? Yeah, have you seen Step Brothers? We was at Grace's. <laughs> yeah. You've done this a couple. We was at Grace's, and you woke up randomly, and you started going beep beep boop, boop, boop. Beep, boop. And then you yeah. started saying numbers, going seven eight nine seven seven six five five, and looking out the window. I was like, "What?" Mate, the I tell you what, I I sleep talk and sleepwalk bad. Do what I? the hell? But Why you, yeah. you told us is we let you stay in our house? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. No. I don't want to just wake up and see Elliot. Like, hello. No, it's bad. It's honestly, it's, it is a bit bad. You know. Obviously, I don't know what it happens, but like, pop, I've I've stood up. I've got out of bed. I've been asleep. And Poppy's a really light sleeper. <laughs> sleeper. I've got out of bed, just stood up on the bed, stood on the bed, just looked down at her. And then she's like, Els, are you okay? And then I'm like, Ugh. Oh and then I get no. back to sleep. I go back to sleep. No. I say weird stuff. Like, <laughs> I shouldn't even say this. <laughs> <laughs> so the other night, actually, Poppy was like, mate, I, I know I've slept talk. <laughs> When I wake up in the morning, I'm like, all right, babe, she's like, you're right. And it's a bit really off put key. Her off. It's a, honestly, it's a bit off key because, anyway, apparently, I went, oh, no. Just no, you say gotta say it. You've got to say it. Everyone I, said, wants to I basically, I went, are you good? She was like, yeah, you slept all last night. And I was like, oh, okay, what did I say? Like, what did I say? She was like, oh, yeah, go on then, girl, like that. <laughs>
<laughs> but I don't even know what I was dreaming about. Yeah, I would not no, remember I actually. Don't, I don't know what I was dreaming about, but I said I said something like, "Yeah, go on, girl, like that." Oh, oh god, it's very cringe. <laughs> I'm just gonna put my hood up now. That's disgusting. That is so bad. You should not have said that. <laughs> That's going straight in. We, <laughs> we are not editing that out. That is Clip it. <laughs> that is mad. Yeah. Do, do you know what? Yeah. Do you think that like you could kill someone if like you know when you sleep? I worry about People that. Do. What about if you just like you just fucking went up to the no- like the knife drawer and then just fucking stabbed yourself in the end or something? But I still like feel that. like your conscience. Oh, whoa, is whoa, like whoa, whoa. Where's my one? Oh, sorry. I lost my your wand. conscience still is like aware like you're not going to do something that's out of character but like no you true a bit yeah but what if you're a serial killer you got serial killer tendencies yeah. and you don't know but no that's strange because uh, when not that the thing i said i was like but i didn't dream last night yeah but you don't remember them all do you yeah you no. dream every night didn't you but you know when yeah. you dream oh, really? you know when you dream you're not actually dreaming when you're like asleep all the time it's you know when you wake up it yeah. all happens really fast yeah. So when you're mad. like ready, when you're about to wake it's up, yeah, that's when you dream. Sleep, not like deep sleep, isn't it? Yeah, you don't. Yeah, when you yeah, cause when you're in deep sleep, it's actually like REM sleep and that. That's when you're like fully gone. Yeah. Whereas well, if, I used to have such, oh my god, such aggressive dreams. I've actually cut someone's dick off in my dream once. <laughs> no, with a samurai sword. Oh. <laughs> with the samurai sword. Oh my god. <laughs> and what? And this is the worst one I've had. I think I was literally driving in <coughs> my old car that I had was a green ka and i was driving through like blood and body parts just like driving through <laughs> and lib was like <laughs> <laughs> that is a madness <laughs> 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 so I go no but it was so like it was like parting there was like, arms and like but that was my dream that like, is, mental. is that a nightmare or is that a good dream uh it wasn't a good dream but like i don't remember <laughs> I don't remember feeling like scared by it, but I just had <laughs> really violent dreams. Yeah. But you Unreal know when dream. I cut that man's willy off, literally, I was. This is what I was doing. Who was the man? I don't know, some random man. But mm-hmm. I had a samurai sword, and he was coming towards me. And I was going like this, and it chopped his dick off. <laughs> Look at his side to bro. That's what's scary. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's not a that's, nightmare. That's no, but what's how scary, weird is bro. that? That's a successful dream for you. No, but look, she says it, and she said the whole thing with a smile on her face, and it's weird. <laughs> look, stop doing that. <laughs> oh my God, that. Stop it. Stop it now. No. Shh. Shh. No. No. Do you remember when I used to do oh, that you to you? I thought you were actually laughing. No, no, that's a fake laugh that she does when it's freaky. I used to do that to him when we were in bed like late at night and he used to get so <laughs> yeah, she does, No, she just does it like randomly and I'm like, I don't like it. Stop it. It's disgusting. <laughs> right, obviously talking about the dream thing, yeah, and saying like, you know, you could you know, if you sleep talk or sleepwalk and that, mm. if you had like serial killer tendencies and that, you know, like going into serial killers, why do you think that Everyone like loves watching serial killer stuff. It's always number one on Netflix. It's always the most spoke about thing. What do you think it is? It's gossip, isn't it? Not gossip. That's not the right word. No, but when you watch it, yeah, you you do feel a certain way. I think you're so like like, far. Well, most people, luckily and gratefully, are so far removed from anything like that happening to them that it seems a bit like a not fantasy. It's the wrong word, but like it's not Mm. real to them. Yeah, and it's. The it's escapism, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and the serial killer stuff, I mean, that has been created for entertainment. So you've got to think, like, if you're actually in that situation, it's a much no, but no, how bad no, is that but, that it's created for No, but what I'm saying is, yeah, like, stuff on TV, it's all created for entertainment, but I, you don't like everything. But mm. serial killer stuff, everyone's got this thing about it, and you just hit the nail on the head, because I actually read about it before. So our psychologists, they say that it's a safe way for normal people to explore the dark side of life. Yeah, yeah. So instead of actually going through with things or YouTube killings or being weird like that, yeah. you like it, it's like it's a safe way for you to explore what the actual I other think side as well, would be like, like. Our generation and especially our generation, but we have become so desensitized to everything mm. like that, like yeah, horrors, you can just see killings, it. murders, <laughs> sexual things. Every, yeah. We're all so mm. desensitized because we see it everywhere Social all the media. time. It's like in your face, and and now, say like you see someone get stabbed, you don't know, like on a TV show. You're like, oh, like you shouldn't really think. Oh, yeah, it's mad. you should be like, oh my god, he just stabbed someone on TV. Yeah. But now it's like, oh, that's normal. I mean, to be fair though, it does depend like what a uh, what you see though, because if you see see someone just like do that, and it's like you, you know someone's been stabbed. But if you see someone get stabbed in the neck and then you hear it and see it bubble and like that kind of thing, that still that's makes you mad. feel disgusting. Like, do you know what? When I, I was younger. <laughs> 
loves it. <laughs> loves what was it. that? <laughs> she just she just went. Oh, that's fine. Oh. <laughs> loves it. No, but I don't like feel a type like it doesn't like in horror movies when you watch Saw. Why are we watching people being like yeah, yeah. traumatized and uh, yeah, and that's mad Saw. Like hostile as well. Like we're watching people. You just kind of want to put yourself some, through something that you'd never want to do, or you feel like, oh, I shouldn't really be it's watching wrong. this or doing it, like. Yeah. But it's so right. It's one of these you know things. I mean, when I was weird. younger, <clears throat> when I used to go to the cinema to watch like an action movie or like a scary movie, and it'd be a twelve A, and I'd be like, "That's going to be boring." Yeah, yeah. Just because it's a twelve A, because you knew it wasn't going to be like gory. That's but a do you madness. But you think it as well about like you every day? You would never shoot someone. You'd never shoot someone no. Yeah, no. but every day or well not every day you play like on your PC yeah it's a real yeah. quad kill like, boy you shoot people and you're like oh I just <laughs> killed him oh he just like stabbed yeah. him or whatever you do like, quad, quad headshot 360 snipes yeah whatever that is <laughs> but do you know what I mean you're sitting there shooting fake people in a fake game because it gives you enjoyment but you'd never kill someone in real life you yeah. said fake people fake game yeah. like stop dissing what I like to do no, it's not real is it don't have to be real to enjoy it. No, but that's what I'm saying. Your enjoyment comes from shooting people on a game. Yeah, that's a that is a bit it is a bit weird. It's isn't weird. It? No, but I don't think it's the fact of shooting people. It's well, like the I, competitive well, side of it. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Play like I play, play FIFA and that game. as well. But, but it's one of these don't. ones where it's like, oh, the more realistic. It's like, yeah, it's like. Better. Yeah, people do want to get up, but I feel like you can get to like too realistic. You still need yeah. to be gaming. Like that game but, and you armor. Know, um, what is it? Grand Theft Auto as well. The new one's coming out of that, like, by the way. You're like kicking prostitutes and stuff on there. Yeah, that's jokes. Like, yeah, it's, <laughs> I mean, I would never so do it, but wrong. it's pretty fucking funny. It's so wrong. Like, <laughs> the world is no, but like, if you, you, I was one of them people that would just go like... Um, oh my God, does everyone know that fact about you? What fact? What fact? Go about on. when you used to play your game. Oh, I don't know about and this. And you, like, you, you didn't go to school, you didn't eat... Oh, Gears of War. And you, you were like number Gears one. I used to do the exact same thing. Gears, Gears yeah. 2. Do you know Gears of War, yeah? Like, I've, I think I've got a picture somewhere of it. I was number one in the world for a week. Rankings. Really? Yeah, most kills. That, that was, was when Xbox... My mom, my mom would not, like... I, I was not going to school, yeah? And then um, I'd get back and I'd just jump straight on the game. And my mom would like bring my food up, yeah. She'd come back up and my it. food was still on the side, not eating, and she'd get mad at me. That she took the like... Xbox off me and everything. I used to pretend to get to sleep and get back downstairs, get the Xbox, set it back up, and I'd play till I could school in the morning. I was fucked. I was, I was so addicted. Oh, I was so only bad. it was only like a stage for like a month or two, so funny, but though. I was very addicted to it. Like when I'm Gears. drunk, I always tell people that. Yeah, you always bring it's it up funny. like to embarrass me, but I, I think it's kind of cool. I was number one in the world for a week. I mean, that's pretty Donny. That's moves. pretty sick, eh? I was pretty good. It's like, cool yeah. if it was like. Not gaming. Yeah, but you know what's mad though? Now I'm older, yeah. Like you got all these little kids, yeah. These little toads, like that grow toads. up. Toads. Yeah, these little utes, right? And they grow up, and they're just so much better at games than me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so shit. I'm just old, You're old like. Now. You know when you know the math. Arthritis in your thumbs. I mean, oh, what? <laughs> wow. But like you know, like the Mac and stuff like that. It takes me like four hours to figure out how to copy and paste. Yeah. I'm just I mean, getting, that is fossil I feel, behavior. I feel like yeah. I feel like I'm getting old. You're a Windows like, guy. I'm a window. I feel like yeah. I'm a Windows. Yeah. You know? You're an absolute window, mate. Yeah. No, you're Whatever. a window. We're getting guy. off topic from the yeah. horror thing. So basically, the reason Liv wanted to come on this podcast was to talk about one thing and one thing only, and that's alien life. I do think we should have another podcast where we actually solely talk about aliens. Oh do you, do you love aliens? God. I love I love the like concept. The I, I do love it as well, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Can I tell you what I think we're... Why we're here? Yeah, go on then. That so, was so deep. <laughs> so, I think that we were put here and then aliens are like watching us and see what we do. Like the and Truman then, Show. Yeah, and then they can like intervene sometimes, like Sims. But like they look at us and like we're driving our little cars everywhere and they're like, oh my God, they're just driving along in their car. <laughs> like, what? Well, fuck me, they're playing with me then. <laughs> they're putting loads of chores in the top left corner and then yeah, deleting them as I'm about to do them. But and don't you think that everything. could happen? <laughs> I feel like that, and like they are watching from above, and like just deciding when they're going to come down and be like, mm, "I'm bored of this game." Yeah, now. I mean, yeah. I kind of think like if you look at like the nature of infinity, yeah, like there's a, an infinite amount of like possibilities that could happen. So you could be right in one sense. Yeah. Like if you look at the universe as a whole, kind of thing. Or this is where we can get seriously deep, like because yeah. to me, yeah, like if you look at like the Big Bang and like the universe and all the stars, all different planets and shit. Like you're telling me that. 
there are life on other planets. This woman, yeah, this scientist, she was on the Joe Rogan podcast, and she said, if you went to the ocean, right, and just got a cup and just scooped out a bit of water, it was that how much of the universe we've explored. That's, That's what mad. she said. So you're telling me that there are a possibility that, oh, there's, that makes something, me feel there's something so out there. Like, weird in my yeah, like, belly. Yeah, I know. It's very strange. Anybody like, cool, that there's just it? like, it just keeps going. Yeah, I know. It's just my Well, case. every star is a universe, right? Yeah. Well, a planet. Not a universe. No. It's is a it? planet. It's a planet. A star's a planet. There's bare stars. No. Nah, that's what I'm saying. They're all different universes. No. They're not different universes. No, they're different They're in suns. our universe. Yeah. There's a, f- a, a sun is a star. Why are you closing your the eyes? Su- <laughs> the sun is a star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is he going to break oh. it into character in a minute? <laughs> the sun is a star. No, but we could be fucking this right up now. But uh, look, the sun is a star, yeah. But the stars, oh, the stars are not all suns. They're just different planets. Nah. So the star is a su- is um, a sun that hasn't blown up yet. Oh, okay, that sounds that sounds le- that sounds right to me. That sounds legit. That sounds yeah. legit to me. So if yeah. another star was to blow up in our universe, right, we'd we'd disintegrate. Oh, yeah, that good. is insane. How likely is that going to happen? That we could just be gone. But do you, no. do you know, like, obviously, did you see like the UFO like thing they had in Congress? When they actually sat down and they oh, said, yeah. like, so basically they, um, it was a geezer that's like well respected. He's not, he's, he's basically a whistleblower, um, and he's well respected. He's not like a nut job or anything. Yeah. And he went in there and like people was actually asking him serious questions and the stuff that he couldn't say. Well, but he actually did say that they've got species, they've got craft, and oh, that makes me feel so weird. There's, there's, but the thing is, yeah, when people, when you say alien or UFO, you think of fucking ET, you think of Independence Day, you think of all them films because that's what we've made aliens look like. Aliens could just look exactly like how you look, or, or how like you, you look how I look. They could look, not look anything like that at all. But or it could just be like a bit of like jelly. Yeah, from no, but from the sightings and that, they call them the little people, don't they? The little greys, they call them because they're supposed to be like really small. Really? And then oh, I bet they're quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, but I don't think they're going to be like. Why would they be? Hor- why do they need to be horrible? They might come and be like, "Do you want to be a mate?" And then yeah, but you don't know. Yeah, but you don't or know. Or they that, might yeah. come over and go, "This is a bit. This is a nice bit of land. This <laughs> we can use <laughs> a this. bit of land. What, and then try the world and, and try and kill us all and be like, you know yeah. what? We're going to fly because because I will tell you what, we want out. Everyone round here, all the <laughs> scientists and that, they all want Mars. <laughs> These guys might be fucking yeah, want this. <laughs> no, but <laughs> the little grey people. Yeah, they're like right. That's a bit of us. No, but the thing is, yeah, like there is so much out there that I feel like if you if you just shoot down the possibility that there isn't isn't aliens, then that's mad. And this Congress meeting, yeah, like it is a bit weird how loads. I'm not going to talk about all the bad shit that's going on at the minute, but there's a lot of bad stuff going on that in the world. Mm-hmm. And then to kind of overshadow that, they have all this talk about aliens and that yeah. to try and hide the fact that something else is going on. Yeah. That's when you get down the conspiracy route. But if it oh is, oh li- god, we could talk about conspiracy. Do you remember when we spoke about lizards? Lizards. Was you there? Was I there? No, yeah, was it was there. me and you. Was I there? No, you but have you, up have you went, was I this? there? Have you se- have you seen this though? Joe, that Joe no, Boyd, don't that, talk about that because I don't want to die. That Joe Boyd, they're not going to do anything. We're a little podcast in bloody Yeah, but what Essex. about that girl? Huh? What about that girl that was in the airplane? And she oh, and she lizard. said they're not real. Yeah, yeah. and they, they found the girl now, weren't they? And she oh. looks completely different. Yeah. And she's saying it, they're Ooh, saying it's not her. scary, this. No, but have you seen that Joe Biden clip, yeah, when he's like talking, yeah, and his face, he's, he's wearing a mask. Whoever, I think Joe Biden's gone, me. You think he's a lizard? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I think, I not, think alien, no, not alien shit, yeah, but I think he's gone because if you've seen the clips of him where it looks like he's got like a, a mask on, you know, them like proper like realistic masks, yeah, like what you'd get in Mission Possible, yeah, do you want to change your face? If he was, there's, there's things at the back, he's a if, lizard. If he was gone, mm. if he was gone and then someone replaced him, why would he still be cooked? Because there's like videos of him recently, he's maybe like he's a robot, sleep or and he's cooked, hey, man. he's he, cooked. Shouldn't, he shouldn't be looking after a country, he's you don't know which way is up, him. yeah. Yeah, he's a bit mad, like. But have you seen the video when um, he's like got his like suit on, yeah, and then there's like, like this little thing, like this little fucking lizard thing, I saw just that. Like, oh, goes don't. back, just back, goes back into his sleeve. It's mental. No, yeah. I don't want to. We should do a conspiracy episode yeah, one we day. Should. Yeah, I think, I think though, obviously, there's so much more to talk about on that. Yeah, stage, but there's but so much more like I hear shit we'd have to go through. We'd have to do like some research first because we want to like. Like chat waffle and not really know about it. Yeah, is that not what we do? Chat waffle. Yeah, we do chat waffle, but then if we're just like spewing out facts, I'm actually no, no hungry. facts that are like not real. Um, I want to hear some more horror stories. I have got another one. Oh, do you? Is it good? Mm. Yes, I was 
I can't remember how old it was, but I went to a party and it was in London and there were like really old houses. But it wasn't, it had like parents there. It wasn't like a proper party party. <clears throat> and the woman that lived there, for some reason, she gave me a tour of the house because I think we were talking about the fact that it could be haunted. And we went upstairs and sat on her bed. And I think she said that her mum died in the house. Um, nice. And something about the fact that she didn't have keys. What? <laughs> what? What are you laughing at, bro? <laughs> you just went. <laughs> you just went about the mom dying in there, and you just went nice. <laughs> Why are you saying anything at all? I don't know. It just came out. <laughs> Trying to make me know that he's listening. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. You're on the phone. You're like, yeah, nice. Yeah, sweet. Just an absolute soundboard of affirmative words. I'm like, mm, yeah. Mm, mm, Sounds no. great. <laughs> My nan just died earlier. Yeah, love it. Yeah. yeah. Good work. Brand new that. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, and yeah, I think she, um, she, we were like sitting in her room and she said, there's areas of her house that smell like her mum's perfume and it like wafts through the perfume smell and that's the perfume that she used to wear, but she doesn't have it anymore yeah. and, her na- and her mum's not been there in years. That's quite nice. Yeah, and she, you sit on like the bed and I smelt it. I was sat on the bed and I, I smelt this like waft of perfume yeah. and it was, and it was like an old like, lady kind of smelling perfume like really florally and then she was saying as well like um pretty much nearly every night they hear a knock on their door but every time they open the door there's no one there that is so weird they always hear a knock on the door my mum's actually got a really good ghost story because my mum used to work um in social housing and um i think there was a family that didn't want to live in the house anymore and everyone that lived there what, because wanted, of haunting? Yeah, everyone that lived there need like would you not want to live there anymore? But they couldn't physically move out because of social housing, so they would get kind of got what they were given. Yeah. Um. But these people like we cannot live there. Like all we <laughs> ever hit that it was but really nasty though. Like they would throw chairs. Um. And this is what my mum was being told. What? So my mum went and visited the house, and um she said that when she was there, she heard heavy footsteps upstairs. Yeah. And she was like, so who lives upstairs? And she was like, there's no one that lives upstairs. And she was like, oh, but is there someone up there now? And she was like, no, there's no one up there. But my mum heard those footsteps. Oh my God, that is so weird. Yeah, like heavy footsteps. And she was saying, um, they like pull out the drawers with like the cutlery and stuff. Like, and there was so many stories about that house. things like that when like things get thrown about. But they were, they wouldn't choose to leave a house when they need it if they weren't. Yeah, shit scared yeah true yeah Mad. so it means like something definitely mm. going on. see that's what I mean I kind of wish that something like would I'm actually no adult that something would happen to me because then I could be like oh okay this is legit like there could be yeah. nice ones though can't yeah, there? Like, there, there could, could be, be nice, nice experience ones. like the perfumes like nice experience like yeah. I think yeah, they all, don't always have to be nasty I've got one more Go on. so Go on. I I uh I was on it was year seven I was in and it was a school trip and I was getting up really early <laughs> you're wearing your robes I was wearing my robes <laughs> I forgot my wand. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> anyway, I um, basically it's really early. It's about three a.m. and I f- I thought my dad was coming in um to to let me to wake me up so he could go to so take me to the school for early doors. Anyway, um, I I'm like a bit half asleep, and I I see this my door open and I see this little figure, and I'm like <laughs> Harvey. I thought it was my little brother Harvey, um at the time he was like five six. And he was a little bit of a wanderer. So I was like, Harvey, you all right? And I look at, look at him and it's not Harvey. Which... And then he disappears. But who what? was he? And the do- Ghosts, bro. <laughs> Ghosties. <laughs> oh my God, we Ghosties. have another one as well from the wedding. Do Whoa. you remember Ayla? Oh, yeah. So yeah, my yeah. dad's little girl, my half sister, she was running around the wedding like crazy. We had no other children at our wedding. We only had Ayla. Yeah. Um, and then we, sp- I think she spoke to her mum. Yeah, and she, she said, Kelly, yeah. yeah, or it was my dad. I can't remember which, but she said, oh, where's the little girls gone that I was playing with? Um, Kelly was like, there's no other children here. She was like, no, I was just playing with some little girls like round That's the side weird, on the on the grass. We were all playing together. 
And she was like, there is no other children Imaginary here. friends. No, but yeah. the thing is, yeah. I that's... had an imaginary friend. No, but that's what they're saying. probably a ghost. That's it what they say. It probably was. Yeah. Well, because kids and um, horses and dogs. Exactly. Like... Yeah, no, but that's what they say, didn't they? I bet kids, because kids are so pure. Yeah. They yeah. haven't really seen the world yet, so they're so pure to life. That that's why they see things. And an- animals are yeah, so animals, pure. Yeah, animals, yeah. That is well, when I... Oh, my God. I actually have so many. When I um, rode when I was younger, um, we went across um, an old battlefield because we're... The stables was it's a really old there's all like the pillboxes and stuff yeah. that they used to have battles we went across this battlefield and the horses would go mad when we won in it like really? they would not go across it oh man that is yeah. mad We're literally and you know horses are meant to have that sixth sense they would not stand on that and not go mad like you take them straight off fine go on it go crazy yeah that is crazy like. see do you know what I mean stories like this share yeah, obviously there's no fact to what you're saying, yeah. There's no rhyme or reason. No, like, but, but there's no like fact or anything, but you want it like, you want it kind of to be you like want it true. true. Do you know like what I mean? that one I just said when I woke up, I could have just been dazed out. Yeah, but then, if yeah, you know but then I, but the door opened. It's mad. Yeah. It is weird. It is mad. Everyone enjoy their night's sleep tonight. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, we're gonna have Abel in between me and you, and then he's I might leave this on and just be at the bottom of the bed. You, at some point, like, nah! <laughs> you know that TV that pops out, it pops out of your bed. I'll just be on top, like, mm. oh, sorry, guys, let me just move. <laughs> well, Liv, thank you very much, my beautiful thank you. wife. It's for okay, thanks on. for having me. I do dress up really like want you to come back on because obviously this is our second episode and obviously it's the Halloween special. The next one is going to be about music, and we'll have another guest. Probably not best to have Probably me. Probably best not to have you. Um, and then I do want to do a social media one. Yeah. And a, men- and a mental health thing as well. And we I kind of think that with the that. social media one especially, I think you'll be great as a guest and I think people would want to Definitely. Listen to it if you're on as well. Oh, so. Let me know, guys. Definitely. I'll and you, send you, you my day rate. You re- yeah, absolutely. What? <laughs> I fucking pay you. You really what? made an effort. I'm getting paid. What? I'm not this. <laughs> <laughs> and she's off. Liv, sit down, please. Please, Liv, don't go. Just give me a kiss. Liv. <laughs> no, me, Pennywise? And like that, she's gone. <laughs> right, we're just going to cut the podcast there. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I've <gasps> got on this chair. Oh, this is my break. God. We almost lost a chair. Yeah. Th- these chairs are like, they're unreal, but they're not safe. Nah. No. Like Please what? do. Do we all get Tesco dressed up? Oh, my up? God. And we'll and film just, it and whack it on the end of this pod. And just walk, oh, and just walk up. Oh, yes. Yes. Show it. We should do it. Or walk in Dumbo. Oh yeah. God, yeah. No, because we're going to be living there soon. Sorry. Fun. There's someone walking past. Oh, it's the <gasps> Reggie. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. It's the dog. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to the What The Fact podcast. Um, Like it, share if you can. And um, we'll see you next week. Yeah, see you next week, guys. Thank you.